Dr. Kathy Scrimshaw grew up in Calgary and trained to be a physician at the University of Calgary Faculty of Medicine. Her studies included a clerkship in high level where she found rural practice really appealing. So when it came time to do her residency, she chose rural. At that time, the only rural residency program in Canada was in Newfoundland. So off she went. She still remembers her first day. So we were at the Health Sciences Centre in St. John's, Newfoundland, and there was four of us sitting at a, a table having lunch, and this page comes over to Dr. Scrimshaw, and I turn to them, I go, that is so weird. In all my career, I've never met another person who has the name Scrimshaw. And Mike looks at me and goes, Kathy, that is you, because I'd never been called a doctor before. I, didn't, wasn't, I always remember that. Dr. Scrimshaw quickly discovered that patients in Newfoundland seemed to speak a different language than the English she knew. Next thing he says, I, I find it when I glutch. And I'm like, what? Yes, I find it when I glutch. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking, so my preceptor comes in. And so finds means it's hurting, and glutch means swallow. So Newfoundlanders have a totally different dialect which I had no idea about, and which I learned very quickly. She finished her residency and then practiced for three and a half years on Fogo Island in Northeast Newfoundland at the doorstep of Iceberg Alley. When her father passed away suddenly in the early 1990s, she felt it was time to move back west. Her husband, Gord Peterson, had grandparents that ranched in the Pincher Creek area. Gord's love for nature photography and Kathy's passion for rural practice made Pincher Creek a good fit. So in 1992, impressed by the innovation happening at the Associate Clinic in Pincher Creek, Dr. Scrimshaw joined the team there. She was immediately very popular and rightly so. She contributed massively to our practice. Dr. Scrimshaw was inspirational in moving the Associate Clinic from downtown to adjoining the hospital. With more health professionals all in one place, it made it easier for her to set up the patient medical home model. Under this model, patients can see various health professionals in the same clinic. In fact, a lot of the early work that she did in building those things up is what became the modern primary care networks, uh, with, you know, which, which we all know now and I think have been a really, Alberta has really led, led the country in development of that. Her accomplishments are many. She was a member of the team that created the Society of Rural Physicians of Canada. It flourished, and today the SRPC is the national voice of Canadian rural physicians. She is a past president of the Alberta College of Family Physicians, and she has been an advocate for the health concerns of Indigenous peoples in the Pincher Creek area. Unfortunately, Dr. Scrimshaw has an immunodeficiency that puts her at extreme risk if she contracted COVID-19. So, since last March, she has had to see her patients virtually. As someone who was always totally dedicated to her patients' care, she felt virtual care left a gap. Dr. Scrimshaw finished seeing patients at the end of 2020. She will be greatly missed not only by her patients, but also by the many younger physicians she has mentored. I continually use you as an example when speaking with my peers about someone that shows a, a superhuman level of dedication to this field and to their patients. I honestly don't know how you've done it. You have been one of the greatest mentors as a family physician to me, and I feel I will always utilize your, your knowledge and skills. You're such a passionate physician, and you're so passionate to care for your patients. It's unlike anyone I've ever worked with. I'll help you sit forward a little bit so we can have a listen to your lungs. Dr. Scrimshaw encourages medical students to include rural practice in their studies. Take that opportunity you have in, in your clerkship to spend a month or two down in an active, comprehensive rural practice. The rural practice is so rewarding. And again, it's because of that, the depth and breadth of what you get to do. But you have to experience it to understand. While she longs to travel like in days gone by, she remains a strong advocate for rural health care by continuing to serve on many health-related committees. She also works part-time for Alberta College of Family Physicians. She is the medical director for their mentorship network for chronic pain and addiction. While the 61-year-old physician has hung up the stethoscope for now, once the COVID risk disappears, she may locum.